Hey up YouTube and welcome back to the channel and to part 6 of my Final Fantasy 7 No Random Encounters Challenge. After clearing up Ojo's mess in the lab, it's time to GTFO. Now, what would be the best way of escaping, I wonder? I know, why don't we take the most obvious glass elevator in existence and hope that nobody sees us? How has that not f***ing worked? So we get captured where we learn that Aerisith has been detained on her own, and thanks to her apprehension, Shinra's plans for Neo Midgar can now start to become a reality. We get thrown into a prison cell where we can hear Red 13 mumbling about his granddad, Barrett looking for new recruits at Avalanche, and T forgetting the hump on about Aerisith wanting to bang Cloud. After the jealousy subsides though, Aerisith starts getting spiritual and sh explaining how she can hear the cries of the planet. Cloud starts to wonder what she's been smoking before telling everybody to get some shut eye. Cloud wakes up in the middle of the night to find his cell door wide open and the Shinra guard supposedly on patrol, dead. We grab the girls and follow Red 13 to see what's going on. As we enter Hojo's lab, we can see a trail of blood leading up to the second floor and this tank that we saw previously is now suspiciously empty. We follow the trail of blood all the way up to the president's office to find that he's been shish kebabbed by our lovely friend. President Shinra's son Rufus shows up and thanks to his dad's murder, inherits the president title. For some reason, Cloud now thinks that this is a good time to decide that the planet is in crisis and tells the others to skedaddle as he squares up to Rufus. The rest of the gang make their way back downstairs and it's now time to f*** up some bosses. Hey up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Part 6 of my Final Fantasy 7 No Random Encounters Challenge. It's a big one today folks, it's a big one. We're going to be doing not one not two, not three, but four bosses today. That's right, four bosses. So, we've got the Arsenal and the Valkyrie, which is going to be the first fight. We've then got Cloud's one-on-one -on -one with Rufus. And then we have the... Oh, crikey, what's it called? The Motorball. Then we have the Motorball at the end of the highway. So going into boss, well, bosses one and two against the Arsenal and the Valkyrie, we've got a team of Aeris Barrett and Red 13. Now, put them all in the back row for this because you actually can't attack them with melee weapons. So the only person that's actually going to be able to, to harm both the Arsenal and Valkyrie is Barrett from fr from his long range weapon. So Aerisith and Red 13 are just going to have to use magic and rely on that. So I'll show you what we've done. I'll show you what we've got. So we have gone uh, Aerisith. We've gone with lightning and ice. It's a shame I've not got another lightning material really because obviously with these being mechs, they are going to be prone to uh, lightning attacks. But yeah, we've just gone with lightning and ice with her. Barrett, we've given him cover, you know, with him being the, the tank, you know, he can probably take the most damage and look at getting his limit breaks up a little bit more. We've also given him steel, irrelevant, so he's not going to be able to use it, but it's there. And then we've given him restore and all again. And then red 13, we have given him fire and all and poison. We've given him elemental material and fire. Again, that elemental material linked to the fire material in his armor is completely redundant because these guys don't use fire attacks. In terms of equipment, I actually haven't altered this at all. Oh, actually, what can we do here? Oh, we might we might chuck the talisman on, on Red 13. Talisman? Uh, yeah, talisman. Yeah, we'll chuck the talisman on him. I don't really need to chuck that star pendant on here. It's uh, a bit pointless. Right then, let's go and beat the Arsenal and the Valkyrie. Oh, right then. Oh, Red 13's got a limit. Didn't even realise. Fan Dabby Dozy. Right. Bolt. You can do that straight away, Slide Fang. And Barret, you can attack. Oh, that's a bugger, isn't it? Red 13. Fire, uh, Aerisith, Bolt, and attack again, Barret. I think you can kind of see the way this fight's going to go. Yeah. Magic with uh, Red 13, Magic with Aerisith, and uh, yeah, Barret can attack. Miss? How have you missed that? Bloody lightning! Never misses! Oh, 
hoping... I'm hoping that we can actually beat this guy before he starts doing his big wavy attack. Sensor cannon charging, here we go. Right, I'm hoping I can get rid of him before that gets fully charged. Yeah. Don't know if I'm going to do it. Might have to do healing with here. If he does do it, then. does do it. I'm not quite sure how much damage it's going to do, so better to be safe than sorry, in it. Yeah, it's a good job. <laughs> good job I did. Oh. I really felt that. I really thought that was going to do more damage. <laughs> Probably could have got away with it. Never mind. Oh, are we nearly there? Are you nearly done, Arsenal? Can we have Valkyrie now? Ah, there we go. Ah, one of... One of four down. Valkyrie. Not Valkyrie. Uh, what are we calling it? Uh, Arsenal. Arsenal. Done. Right. Um, uh, no, what am I doing? There we are. Lost, me. Lost the track then. Bolt. Memory serves me right, this is the more difficult of the two, if you want to say that. Okay, I want to do uh, magic. It's all a little bit processional, this, isn't it? Oh, Barrett's asleep. We're cool. Pudding. Yeah, you need to wake up, mate. You've got a limit break. You just hang fire um, for a nanosecond because uh, now I'm going to um, do a little bit of materia shuffling and I will show you what we've done for Rufus. Right then, so as you can see, we are just about to go into the Rufus fight. Let's show you what we've done to Cloud. So we've given Cloud poison and all. Rufus has got his little dog hound with him. I think he's called I thought well, I know in the remake he's called Dark Star or something like that. Um, but it's important to get rid of him and that little dog thing as quickly as possible because he starts casting barrier and then your physical damage is out of whack. And so it's really important to make sure that this little dog goes down quickly. So hopefully with if I can, I oh, know I can only use the cure once at first, but hopefully if I can at least poison him with that first 
first go, he'll, um, it shouldn't take him long to go down. And then we've also given him fire and restore materia, just in case we do need to heal at uh, any point. I've also given him the talisman, just for a little bit of extra spirit. So, yep, yeah, here we go. Let's, um, let's kick uh, Rufus's arse now then, shall we? Right then. First things first, let's get rid of this fucking dog. What are you laughing for? Oh, you little c Straight away? You're for real? That's not even poisoned him, great. Oh, man, right. Uh, I, I need to poison you. I, I can't be focusing efforts on you. Oh, well, you... <laughs> All right, dead anyway. Uh, right, uh, limit, cross slash. This should paralyze him. And it has. Brilliant. So, let's try and poison him. Nope. And we try again. Would you stop laughing? Oh, come on. Third time's a charm. Hey. I might as well just keep firing, actually, because he's got... I think he's still barriered, isn't he, at the minute? So, I might as well at least... Oh. Bye. Rufus. Done. Right, then. Oh, so we've got a Protect Vest and a Guard Source. Lovely stuff. Right, so uh, now we're going to meet up with the rest of the gang. Um, escape on his uh, motorbike and um, in the car down the highway. And uh, we're going to take on the motorball. So uh, you come back in a couple of nanoseconds and I'll show you what we've done um, to the party that we're going to take on the motorball with. Right then, so this is what we've uh, done for Cloud. We've given him lightning and elemental and ice and fire. Again, elemental is... Elemental's good. Find elemental's better in your armor rather than your weapon. Oh, actually, I've just had a thought. I've just had a thought. I'm going to swap these around. I'm going to put elemental there because he... Uh, yes, good thinking, Matt. Good thinking, Matt. The motorball has a burning fire attack. So actually adding elemental and fire into my armor will reduce that damage. So yeah, what did I get? Oh, cracky. What did I get rid of there? Ice. Right, yeah, okay. So let's start again then, shall we? So we've got lightning and ice, and we've also got the elemental and fire. A cloud. Barret, again. Restore all. Cover. And red 13, we've gone pretty materia heavy with him. We've got fire and all, and a poison and all on him, and uh, enemy skill, which is completely redundant at this point because we don't have any enemy skills. Don't need them, but I've kind of just put these on, just, just literally for the AP. In terms of equipment, we've got Cloud and his talisman. I've put a protect vest on Barrett to raise his vitality, and I just chucked the star pendant on red 13. I'm happy with that. I'm ready. What you'll also notice as well is I've... You might think, why has he got Cloud and red 13 in the back row with the melee? weapons but as you'll see is when the fight starts he actually attacks us from behind so if we we're not gonna take as much damage right let's crack on with this then i wasn't sure whether i was going to show you the, the the motorcycle segment but yeah let's do it i'm really not very good at this like I said, I've played this game many many times and i'm really really shit at this i don't know let's give it a go right Yeah, I'm really not very good at this. Even in the um, the gold saucer, um, the mini, I'm really not good at it. Okay, I'm actually not doing too bad at the minute. Oh, well, maybe I am alright at this. Oh, come here, little bad. Come on, there we go. You can bugger off and all. I 
no, the, those red ones tend to drop back when you get to them. Come here. There we go. Yeah, I'm actually not doing as bad as I thought I would. Oh, okay. Uh, red 13's health is uh, lower than everybody else's. Nearly at end yet. Oh dear. Oh no. Come here. Get here. Oh, come on. What's going on? Oh, he, he's, oh, it's this corner where you can't really tell what you're doing. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, they're getting mullered. They're getting absolutely mullered. Stop it. Oh, there we go. Okay, could have been worse. So yeah, I am at that. Okay. Right then. Back attack. Turn round. There we go. Right. Barrett's got a limit. Lovely stuff. Red 13. Uh, no, I'm just going to have you attack. Cloud. Bolt. Limit with Barrett. You, you're right. I'm just going to have Red 13 attack. Because fire is not really going to do an awful lot. Poison won't affect him in the slightest. So Red 13 might just be better off attacking throughout this. Oh, no. Right, okay, so Red 13 and Barrett are probably just going to have to attack throughout this. See, and that is why I put the elemental on, on the fire material. Cross slash. Yeah, that's that's why I put the elemental material on the uh, equipped with the fire in the armor. Oh, Red 13's weight limit as well. Lovely stuff. HP. Uh, we're not too bad at the moment, we're alright. I suppose if he ends up doing another twin burner, I'm going to have to heal then. Mm. Yeah, that did seem to Bloody hell, Barrett. Oh, rolling fire. Right, okay. Jesus wept! Oh my Christ. Oh no. Oh my Christ. What the fuck has just happened? Oh sh the bed. Oh Christ alive, I'm gonna die. I'm actually gonna die. What the actual f Oh boy. <laughs> oh man. I actually wasn't expecting that. Genuinely wasn't expecting that. Right then, take two. Right then, let's try again now. Um, I think maybe last time I was just a, a little bit careless with the healing. Because um, I really shouldn't have lost that. Right. Yeah, I'm just going to have to make sure I'm being a little bit more careful. When it comes when it when it comes to healing and keeping my eye on the HP a little bit more. 
Right, well, let's. This is a good start. Limit break. Uh, yeah. Okay. You. Right. You. Yeah. Attack. No. Attack. Oh, that's a good job that missed. Right. Yeah. Attack with Barrett and Red Thirteen. Bolt with Cloud. Twin burner. Right, I am going to heal now. I think that was my mistake last time. I didn't heal. I didn't heal when he did his twin burner last time. Right, sled fine. Lovely. Ball. No. Attack. Oh, wow, God, I've done it again. I've done it again. I've done it again. Right, Barrett, you need you need to heal this time, mate. Please heal. Please heal him. Heal him. Heal us. Lend us your strength, Barrett. Right, f for that. Right. I should. If he does it again now. Nah. Should be alright. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it was. A, I, I should. I'll tell you what, I'm only just in time. Christ alive. Oh, right. I'm hoping this isn't going to take too much longer. I think I'm going to do another heal. At least on Barrett. Oh, f <laughs> Oh, f a dub. Right, um, you, you're going to need to cure. Oh! Oh! Jesus, Navas! That was a little bit hairy. <laughs> oh, wow. Anyway. Motorball. Done. Christ alive. Well. That was much more difficult than it needed to be. Well, we're now over the hump. We're out of Midgar. And I think that this is where the game really, really, really begins. Midgar's done. We're now on our way across the world to find Sephiroth and see what he's up to. Thank you ever so much. I know this has been a long one, guys. You've done well. You've done well to uh, to stick through these uh, four bosses. Uh, but yeah, the game really starts now. Thank you ever, ever so much for um, for watching. I haven't said this yet, but the, the support on the series so far has been has been absolutely great. So thank you ever so much for, for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. If you are enjoying, please do make sure that to give uh, the video a nice big thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you know when the next batch of these videos are up and live for you. My name is Matt, better known as the Yorkshire Gamer, and thank you very much for watching.